Traditionally, organizations have focused their security controls on the perimeter, trying to prevent bad actors from coming in through the internet, um, through their firewall, and into their internal environment. What we've really seen, though, is that many of the breaches have occurred from internal systems that have done a control, command and control outbound, um, and then used that uh, internal environment to access critical data and applications. So one of the hot topics that we've been talking to customers about is really focusing on boundary defense and internal controls. What that means is looking at the internal environment rather than a single flat network, segmenting it to make sure that you're putting controls in between your users and your critical data and applications. So essentially, carving up the internal environment to say that if employees want to access critical data and applications, they would need to go through some sort of security controls, whether it's a firewall or an IPS. Additionally, you would have heightened controls for contractors, business partners, or especially BYOD users or your guests, so that when they're trying to access critical applications and data, they're only allowed to get to the applications that they should have access to, and even if they're getting access, you're still applying additional security controls before they can access those critical data and application. So this allows you to not only segment your internal network and provide those additional controls for folks trying to get to your critical data and applications, but also ensures that if one of these systems in these segments are breached, that they are contained within that environment and still protecting your critical assets and your data.